Chelsea McClellan was a happy, healthy 15-month-old who was supposed to be receiving a routine vaccination. That is not what Nurse Janine Jones gave her. And I asked her right off the bat, what did you do? What did you do? What's, what's something wrong with her? Patty McClellan Weesey was holding her baby. She immediately started having trouble breathing. When Jones injected the toddler with a fatal dose of the paralytic drug succinylcholine, causing her to stop breathing. Chelsea was trying to say my name, but because of the drug type of drugs she used, she couldn't get it out. The doctor at the Kerrville Pediatric Clinic where Jones worked discovered puncture marks in a bottle of succinylcholine that had been stored where only Jones and the doctor could reach it. The bottle was filled with water. We got a call from the DA uh, and the Texas Rangers. Prosecutors say Jones killed five other children at that Kerrville clinic, but murdered dozens more in San Antonio, where she worked before she ever moved to Kerrville. The prosecutors and all investigators who worked on the Janine Jones case, specifically involving the murder of Chelsea McClellan in her trial, stated on the record that Janine Jones is a serial killer responsible for at least up to over 40 infant deaths. Those murders were at Bear County Hospital, where Jones worked from 1977 to 1982. Nurses there had serious concerns about the death rate of the babies in Jones care. It was too high. It was disproportionately high. They even held a meeting about it. We were discussing the mortality rate for the 3 to 11 shift in our intensive care unit. And uh, and I started looking at the log and I thought, gosh, it's astoundingly high for that shift. They would later learn Jones was causing the babies to crash so that she could revive them and be seen as a hero. She is mentally ill and apparently doesn't seem to realize it because she apparently has no remorse or even any acknowledgement of wrongdoing for any of the deaths that she directly caused. Sherilyn Pendergraft and other nurses made outcries to the hospital, which they say their supervisor ignored. She dismissed it almost immediately. She would not hear of any slanderous statements against Janine Jones. The hospital later destroyed records while under subpoena, settling in civil court with some families, never telling others what really happened to their children. You're dealing with low income families. You're dealing with some families who frankly, you know, couldn't even speak English. I was so angry that it went on for so long that so many children had to die because nothing was done about it and that it was actually covered up. That made me angrier than you can possibly imagine. Eight months after Chelsea's death, by court order, the baby's body was exhumed to look for evidence of murder. They didn't think they'd have any chance. But tissue samples indicated that little Chelsea was given enough succinylcholine to sedate 10 men. In 1984, Jones was convicted of Chelsea's murder and of the injury to another baby who almost bled to death after she injected him with the blood thinner heparin. Jones was sentenced to 99 years in prison, but because of mandatory release laws that existed back in the 80s, she is scheduled to walk out of a Texas prison in February of 2018, having served only 33 years. The only thing that can stop her is a new murder charge. Unless we find another case, the nurse baby killer Janine Jones will be one of the first serial killers in this country's history, certainly in the state of Texas ever to be legally released. Fox 26 is aware of several families who say they've contacted the Bear County DA's office, some of them asking for their children's bodies to be dug up after three decades and examined for any evidence of murder. We asked the newly elected DA, Nico LaHood, if he would be willing to order any of the other victims' bodies to be exhumed. It's not something that we're considering right now, but it's not something that I would consider if I knew that there would be a benefit in court. On this Facebook page, victims of Janine Ann Jones, parents express feelings of desperation. In their eyes, LaHood's office is their only hope. You can't just say, well, the odds are too far, you're never gonna find something, it's been too long. You have to try. We don't just go and, and exhume bodies just by chance. I mean, we have to make sure that there's something that leads us in that direction. You've got to exhaust every possible option. Never one to give up, Petty McClellan Weesey dares to make a wish and hope for a miracle. If I had one wish, this would be my last interview because if that happened, that meant that 
she was, they found a case, they found her guilty, and she never walk again. Katie McCall, Fox 26 News.